the director. And it is both a privilege and a pleasure to write the forward to this book in my capacity as director of the Bureau of Corrections. By the grace of the Almighty God, I accepted this challenge with the knowledge that people are put in prison not for further punishment, but rather that they may benefit from their confinement and re-enter the community with positive attitudes. The Bureau's mission is the orderly rehabilitation of its wards, when clearly their spiritual upliftment is of major significance. A former prisoner, Reverend Lucas P. Dangatton, Jr., founded the New Bilibi Prison Christian Church and Theological Institute in 1989, after his release. Just recently, he was appointed president of the Trojan Horse International Christian Ministries, Philippines, incorporated in recognition of his spiritual guidance extended to past and present inmates. The work of Trojan Horse Ministries and other similar organisations is truly impressive, as manifested by the 65 testimonies of former hardcore criminals who have been abide with the Holy Spirit. This book focuses on these people who are a small but important illustration of how faith moves mountains. Clearly, any guidance of this nature is wholly empathetic with the Bureau's mission, and I, as Director, will ensure the prison records of those who have positively found their way will attest the same in support of executive clemency application. It's been said that people are responsible for the result of the organisations that they serve. Nobody can really argue with that statement, but it remains the most opposite in the correction industry. All of us must pull together in ensuring the Bureau of Corrections succeeds in its mission and objectives accordingly. I extend my thanks and gratitude to all Trojan horses in their community and wish them success ad infinitum. Colonel Ricardo B. McCalla, Honourable Director of the Bureau of Corrections.